State University. I thought we were going to the locker. Well, we are. I mean, doesn't every mythical university need to store their stuff in a locker? That's a horrible dad joke. <laughs> I'm here, I'm here with Grant Young, the Dean of San Jose State University. How's it going? Doing pretty good. Welcome to campus. Thanks. So tell me what space we're in at campus right now. Uh, we're in the main bookstore, which is also the locker. Uh, well, it's the locker for a second, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then these shirts just showed up, but yeah. Uh, it's, 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 it's. So the bookstore is probably the main area where a lot of people come first for San Jose State. What's your biggest seller? Um, like, is it here? Like, can we see it? Well, yeah, well, yeah, no, there's uh, Hot Air Fort Dodge. It's probably our biggest seller. Uh, it's, an, it's a saying that a lot of folks have been saying for years around here. And my dad and my grandpa and my uncle have been saying it for years. And my dad actually had his license plate say that. So I said, okay, well, let's, let's throw it on a shirt. And then we put it out there. And I started getting emails from people. It's like, I thought we were the only family that said this. Dodge. Do a lot of Ford Dodge people get it? Yeah, I think so. Hotter than Ford Dodge. Alright. I'll let you pull it. I'm not a retail person. Yeah, that's alright. There's a reason I don't work for the bookstore. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about the story of how Stanhope State University got started. Well, uh, it was uh, a trip, a 4-H trip, kind of 4-H project. Uh, that morphed into, uh, you know, I lived in the art room and shot class in school, and uh, I loved drawing different things, and, and, and then uh, I got sick of actual real things, so I started making up things, and, uh, you know, there's some other mythical universities out there and, and different things, and, and, and I said, well, those are pretty neat. They seem like expensive schools, but where all poor farm kids go, and so I started one by one, and my family's from here, and so... Okay, San Jose State. That sounds like a that sounds like a school. And then of course we have Watermelon Day here, so they have a, some sort of watermelon mascot. And, and then all of a sudden, Watermelon Warriors made a sketch, made a couple one-off shirts. Of course, video games and PlayStation. You could make your own teams. And so San Jose State built this long history of winning champ on, on playing video games with my friends. And, uh, and then uh, I started getting into kind of the vintage sports clothing stuff and. All of a sudden, I talked to my wife. Says, "Well, we need a brand or something to make it." So, what if I made a couple of Stand Up State shirts? And I didn't make them one-offs all these years. And so, I told uh, told Meg, "I said, like, hey, mind if we made a couple shirts? And if we sell one or two, that's fine. And then I, at least I get a, a nice Stand Up State shirt made for uh, for myself. And then, good thing I have about a million cousins because they bought the first <laughs> round of shirts. And then, then it just kind of spread and." Kind of really become, you know, just shirts that kind of celebrate small town living. Inside jokes that you really have to be from Iowa or Midwest or around here to understand them. You know, like, uh, like current. Yeah, have bean mocking. Uh, it's a, it's an industry that's no longer anymore. It's a lot of because uh, thank thank you Roundup Beans, but uh, but most uh, just about everybody I know their first job was bean walking. So I said, well, we have to have a college farming. We got to have bean walking, and then uh, we have rock picking, and then. College of Culinary Arts that celebrates uh, Lutheran Sushi, otherwise known as Dill Pickle Roll-Ups. Everybody has graduated. Yeah, we don't believe in home <laughs> no, no homework. <laughs> I mean, if you want to do homework, that's great, but it's not, you know, it's not homework. I mean, we, so, we, you know, it's, we've had a couple of different things where it's like at the Little Wall Lake Surfing Club, because that's where stand-up skaters go for spring break. It's over at Little Wall Lake, just down the road, and it was, um, you know, they were partying and they were surfing and then they forgot to go back to class. But you know, we appreciate extracurricular activities, so we gave them credit for it. And so, PE credit, yeah, well rounded into the group. Yeah, it's all about the, the college experience. And so, surfing at Little Wall Lake enhances that. We're all for it. You know, the funny part is, is that there's the people around, you know, of course, have been really supportive jumped on this really crazy idea. But the ones that have, I know folks that have never been to Watermelon Bay, never been to Stanhope, and they're they're the most into it and 
about you know wanting to show off their degree and what you can sign up for your degree and send it up to the next upcoming semester. So we'll carry your card. And oh, nice. Where we go, lifetime membership to the Alumni Association, which gets you free parking. So, <laughs> <laughs> which is helping small towns. I hear a lot of them battle yeah. having out of town. This university mm -hmm. parking will get you free. Right. Like, so, <laughs> anything for a revenue stream, right? So, who's your most famous graduate? Well, we got Sarah Thompson, who's a graduate. Uh, I said most famous. <laughs> most famous. So you guys do a tailgate every yes. year. We're where, homecoming. For homecoming. And, and where? It's over in the stadium lot, right next to the fire station. Nice. So they, got a, well, they got a homecoming. Cheers. They even got their cups. Ready? Cheers. So I don't know if you knew, I, um, I actually got my BS in BSing. You, they don't offer you a master's or something like that? You know, this? I probably could get my PhD. You probably teach it. I probably could. <laughs> mythical, mythical or mystical? Mythical. Mythical University. You said there's a number of them out there. How does stay home state Well, I think we're the best in the country. We're uh, a culinary arts program. We're celebrating you know, the great double day. Bottom taco shirts. Uh, it's the most affordable food. We lead the nation in extra good uh, adult recreation. So, uh, a lot of people know we're the, most, we're the number one in uh, farm production. So, uh, other schools, maybe one down the road, thinks that they're educating farmers. Well, we actually have real farmers that are enrolled and actually doing the things of learning. Uh, so, yeah, it's, uh, we're football teams undefeated. Our hockey team won a championship, which is an actual real hockey team. Yeah, I heard that. So they play against other hockey teams. Right? Yeah, like so it was not a big, pretend like the rest. It was, yeah, it was a real, real beer league hockey team, and it was, it was kind of one of those uh, longtime supporter of the university. Uh, really loved Stand Up State, and said, "Hey, if I get a team in, the, in our beer league this year, can I be Stand Up State?" I said, Absolutely. What's the cost us? It's nothing. Just promote our games, and all of a sudden, you know, they play on every Sunday down in Des Moines, at Buckingham Arena, and all of a sudden. People were driving an hour to go see a bunch of people they had no idea what their last names were. And when they had arrived, it turned into a party. And they went on a 13 game winning streak and won the entire championship, which is uh, on Sunday, COVID mode the schedule. The Sunday before Watermelon Day, I mean, I think nobody else has to play us the Sunday before Watermelon Day. That's a destiny type of situation. <laughs> uh, but they did, they went, it was, uh, we had over 100 people. It's, I've been to a lot of Moines Buckingham. That's about, that's about the same, man. It was louder than most. <laughs> they have a couple thousand people in there. That's louder than there than I ever heard. But, you know, a lot of people embrace the team. And the first time even going to a hockey game. And, and, you know, it's a hockey town. And, and not supposed to go. So what's next for St. Helsinki? What's the next big thing that you all are going to take? Well, we're coming into our fifth year. So St. Helsinki will be a fifth year senior. And so. Probably, probably a lot of a lot of things that we'll, we'll do that. But we we'll just focus. I think we have to try to make sure we're um, um, kind of being a cheerleader for everybody around here. Whether it's whatever we're doing up over again, or make sure the awareness of things that are going on around here. And uh, you know, but there's a lot of folks that move away from small towns, and so that we can keep on celebrating. Most important thing is just have fun. Well, I know I don't work with a lot of small towns, and they don't have anything that sort of connects you back. And whether it's for fun or a joke, you know, whatever, they don't have that. And so I think it's really important that you guys do. We can stand up with small towns, small towns have issues. It's really good. Yeah, it's really become more of a regional thing. Campus is growing, enrollment's going up, and uh, everybody passed this year. You know, we've been, it's just kind of exploded where we've had, uh, you know, folks that have a connection to the area around here, and then folks that hear about us, and then they send us pictures from their stuff from all over the world. I think we're 48 states where we've got wow. pictures. Um, all 99 counties in Iowa. I think it's 35 countries, five continents. That's impressive. So we have the people send, send in a picture. In fact, here at the locker, you know, they got they brought back you know, great kind of stand-up institution, the jerky that makes stand-up oh, yeah. here. And, and years and years of all that tradition, the Zankers brought this back and, and we're 
grateful to let me have a little rack that this welcome to the bookstore. And, you know, we talk about it all the time. But uh, um, and so folks been buying and they'll send us pictures. And this lady came in one time. He says, "Well, I'm not going to support that stand-up state anymore." But like, that guy only does is fly around the world and takes pictures. And then uh, I had to say, "It's like, well, that's not Grant. That's, that's people." <laughs> Just okay. Well, I'll take three more shirts. So it's been kind of as I said, was that watermelon day the other day or last this year? And people were like, you know, I think this has gotten out of hand. And it's like, no, no, keep it up. So we're having a lot of fun with it, bring a lot of smiles and connect the people back. Where can people go to find your stuff? Uh, you can go here, Stand Up Locker, Jewel Market, Story City Floor. Can they order online? Or online at StandUpState.com. And you can enroll. StandUpState.com and the semester just happened. So spring semester will be coming up. Well, I guess, I don't know when we're gonna home, put this on. You can enroll, there are semesters all the time. So get ready for the fall semester because spring semester's in full gear. And we'll see you later. Grant, thank you so much for giving us a tour of Stanford <laughs> State University. Come on back for homecoming next year. Right? What are the dates? Uh, we haven't said it yet, usually in September. Okay. Friday, so uh, check, uh, check our social media channels. And and the watermelon day is when? Third weekend in the uh, third weekend of uh, watermelon day. It's oh, on watermelon. a it's on a third weekend of July. Third Saturday in July. Great. And Perfect. what is the hockey team playing next? Their tournament team now, so stay tuned. Uh, follow all of our socials and uh, I think it might be one of the ones coming up soon. But, uh, yeah. awesome. awesome. Thanks, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks. Come on back. Thank you.